Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we have a 2025 GMC Hummer EV. All right, let's start with the exterior. So really, this Hummer EV truck really makes a statement. When this pulls up, everyone knows that it's a Hummer, right? Now, I think that this color is amazing. It's a special uh, gray color that GMC is using for these first edition vehicles, and it looks phenomenal, especially with the black. It really does pop. Um, you have a good amount of cabin space, which we'll look inside later on, and a solid bed space. So you're not going to get the full size of a full, you know, six foot bed. It's probably like five and a half foot of the bed, but still a pretty solid bed. But man, this thing looks awesome. The designers did a fantastic job. Uh, here, uh, the salesman's actually showing me how to go from extract mode to regular mode. And when I tell you extract mode is pretty intense, it's basically like having a six and a half inch lift, right? So imagine having the ability to raise the vehicle six and a half inches without having to get a lift, right? So the pros of having that nice, mean, aggressive look, raising it up, um, and then having the regular drive mode, right? So, you know, when you gotta get the kids in the car, you can lower it down so the kids can hop in, but when you wanna, you know, boss up and have that aggressive look, you can definitely do that, right? All while in an EV, right? So helping the environment, and looking good. Now, the exterior, you can see uh, the, it's it looks good, but it's not as luxurious as the Denali. Uh, and that's because this vehicle is meant to be outdoorsy. You can take off the roof panels. So the interior is made in such a way that if the seats get dirty, they can be wiped off, right? So you are trading a little there and also a little bit less space, right? So when you look in the back seat, it's still a good amount of space, but not as big as the Denali EV. Uh, now, the front here, really nice and really aggressive. I really, really enjoy the, the front space. Uh, it's a bonus place, right? So when you're going on trips and you can put, you know, two or three carry-on bags or a duffel bag or tennis shoes, things like that in the front, it's purely bonus space, right? Covered, protected, you can get your stuff there. So that's one of the things that I'm really, really loving about these EVs. And I think GM's done a fantastic job across the GM lineup their front space is extremely competitive, right? I mean, imagine just, hey, let's throw in all the stuff in here. That way you, you can save cabin space. You don't just really even use the truck bed, right? If you're using the front right, you're saving space in the cabin. Uh, now, let's look at the interior. Again, you have two really, really nice, really good size screens here. These tablet size screens, they're nice and big. They're up front. Again, the design language here, Phenomenal job. Uh, I think it flows really good. And you can see we also have the uh, Super Cruise, which is super helpful. Um, here you can see the graphics here are, are, are pretty nice, right? Like they really do, you know, gamify the vehicle and really make it a pleasure, right? Uh, just knowing that something as classic as a Hummer bring it into you know modern times so people can get the that legacy design language but you know really add that technological flair to it right so it's really on and popping really really enjoyed it um the salesman was really good he was walking me through the interface it's one of those things that there is a little bit of learning curve so if you come from like a a Tesla EV or a Ford EV, you will have to kind of learn the GM platform. Luckily, I come from a Sierra, so it's pretty close. Um, I, I will say that some of the text, I wish the color contrast was different, right? So having the, the light background with the dark text, maybe if it was flipped. I'm not sure if you can just flip that in the settings. Probably so. Um, I didn't get a chance to flip it in the settings, but it does flow really good. Um, and one th cool thing is you can move things from the, the center console to the, to the dash, right? So if you wanna move things back and forth, you can definitely move those things around. Uh, and just the, a lot of the ability to customize and, and really, really enjoy the ride. Also the ability to see a lot of the specs and technical stuff that's happening really, really gives you insight to the vehicle and the performance. Yeah, they, they've done a really good job, right? So like here you can see, you know, if you're off-roading and you're at elevation, you can see that elevation. You can see how much energy you're using, how much energy is left, projections. Uh, you do have the Google Maps here too. So whenever you do enter an address, uh, you can see that. Uh, I will say that the range, so this is the, the 2X, which has a smaller range. So this one is like two, 308 versus the 3X gets the 367. So again, not the best range, but the good thing about it is when GM says 308, you actually get 308 versus some people when they say 308, what they really mean is like 250, right? So, uh, also, as far as efficiency, this vehicle is big and heavy. It's not the most efficient, right? So you have a huge battery, uh, over 200 kilowatt battery at 308 
miles, which means you're going to be averaging anywhere from like 1.75 best case to two uh, kilowatts per hour when you're driving on, on the efficiency. Uh, really cool. You can see that camera so you can see in the truck bed, which is always awesome. So you can, you know, make sure that your stuff is protected. Uh, if you're driving with stuff in the truck bed, you can see what's going on. So that is pretty neat. Uh, really, I feel like they really just threw out all everything at this vehicle, all the cool tech, all the cool gadgets have been thrown at the Hummer to really make it, you know, a value, right? And this is a really expensive vehicle, right? So starting price is going to be like 96,550 all the way up to 130,000, right? So really, really expensive vehicle. Uh, these definitely aren't cheap. Uh, hopefully down the road, these things will get cheaper. But the one good thing is I could say is that, yeah, you're paying a premium price for this, but you're getting a, you know, a, a tre tremendous value as far as technology, right? Um, so here again, he's just walking me through more of the settings. A lot of really cool stuff. Again, um, you could probably play with this for hours and I don't want to, you know, mislead and, and, you know, kind of misrepresent. So I'm not even going to try to, you know, attempt to, to be the expert on all the screen information, but there is a ton of information that you can get to the screen and ton of customization. Uh, but overall, this vehicle is pretty phenomenal. It's definitely for someone that wants to stick out. So if you get this vehicle everywhere you go, people are going to be looking, you park this outside, they'll be looking. This is just an amazing vehicle. Uh, again, just the color, contrast, design, wheels, aggressive, tire, functionality range is really solid uh anyone that's a you know a enthusiast of hummers from back in the day this is i mean the way to do it right uh and there's some phenomenal lease deals on this vehicle right so uh there was a lease promotion recently for like 800 bucks a month with like seven thousand down or four thousand down so you get some really good deals anyways guys thank you for watching this video i appreciate it uh leave a comment like the video and sub to the channel guys thanks a lot and have a great day